Hi guys. So a lot of people actually ask me, what is my favorite city? So I would say there is not one, there are two actually. And I'll also tell you how these two cities actually helped me shape my life. Uh, so coming to the first one is the city where I'm born and initially brought up, which is called Chittorgarh. It is, uh, it has Asia's biggest fort. So I always see that I am very strategic, very rational, very data driven. And I, I see that there is a kind of a knack for, for numbers. And when I look back, uh, during my history, geography exams as well, I used to write all the numbers. I used to recall, oh, uh, Babar came to India in 1526, uh, Humayu started ruling 1530 and XYZ. So, so all of this, uh, somehow excites me. And I think that curiosity, uh, is somewhat I got from this city because of the history, because of the culture, uh, because of, uh, a lot of stories which actually this city produces. So I would say uh, cities do create an influence on you. And when I talk about the the second city, which is St. Petersburg, so I've been to St. Petersburg twice. And when when I think, uh, and when I close my eyes and actually think that what what is the one or two reasons why I find St. Petersburg very happening and very overwhelming to me, one is the water. So. I would say my personality is a lot like water. It's very calm. Uh, you will never see me angry. And that connection I see is because that's very similar to water. So water you see uh, has not so force, right? I mean, you will see uh, water will not create a dent on you if it's flowing in some capacity. But if it's flowing hard and then it may can break the rocks as well, right? So water has that kind of tendency where uh, it can tone down, it can change the intensity depending on the situation, depending on the people. Uh, so I see that that connection and that relevance between me and St. Petersburg as a city. Also, the architecture is so beautiful. I personally admire a lot of uh, home decor and design point of view. So I'm very intrigued and enthusiastic about it. So I see the connection between these two is actually created in in a, kind of an influence on me as an ind individual. So I would say you can also go back and reflect and see that what kind of impact a particular city has created on you. And I'm sure you'll be able to see a lot more about yourself than what you know already about you. Also, there is a saying that you are, uh, you are an average of five people around you. So I would say also try understanding that what kind of person you're becoming. Uh, what kind of conversations you have with these people. And that will help you understand that what you're becoming. Now, once you know that, you can actually decode what you want to become. So you can make those adjustments among these five people. Who to keep closer, who to keep little farther. And that way you'll be able to become that kind of person who would you like to become. For example, I would like to, let's say, be like Elon Musk. Which means I need people like Elon Musk around me who are constantly pushing me to be ambitious, who are constantly pushing me to be solution-oriented, who are constantly pushing me to do, do more with the amount of time I have. So I am sure the certain adjustments actually play a bigger role in terms of the personality, the kind of person you're becoming. So I would say, uh, try out these two things, and I am sure uh, you as an individual, you, you'll feel a difference. You will start seeing uh, a new kind of person you're becoming, a new set of vibes you're carrying. And I'm sure uh, by by just visualizing that, by just having a feel of that, will change uh, a lot about you. And the people around you will start uh, seeing a new, new in you, yourself. Thank you very much.